Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, you're welcome to the 7th day of October, 2020. Today is Wednesday and our Seas of Destiny is titled The Tragedy of Fear. It's our preservation service. And we'll be looking at the issue of fear and overcoming it. The Bible says, For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come upon me. That is Job in Job chapter 3 verse 25. We thought for the day, fear is faith in the wickedness of the devil and doubt in the faithfulness of God and that of course equals disaster. It has been confirmed that the spirit of fear is a deadly enemy of destiny. The fear of failure, the fear of future, the fear of the unknown and so on and so forth. This have made many people to stop short of their God-ordained destiny. No fearful person can fulfill destiny. Now, I'd like you to take note of the following. Few key thoughts on the issue of fear. The first is, fear is an inv invitation to disaster. Fear is a magnet of evil, just as faith is a magnet of good. Job chapter 3 verse 25, we see that in Job's life. Secondly, fear equals faith in the wickedness of the devil and doubt in the faithfulness of God. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 33. When people are afraid, they exercise faith in the wickedness of the devil. When a man is afraid, he, was, he had faith, but he had that faith in another direction. That faith says the devil is so wicked that I cannot escape his wickedness. At this point, he begins to doubt the faithfulness of God. And it is disaster because you cannot believe in the devil and see good things out of life. The third point is that fear paralyzes acceleration. Job chapter 4 verse 14. When a person is frozen with fear, the person is unable to move or make progress in life. There can be no meaningful progress in the face of fear. Beloved, if you want to fulfill destiny, please avoid fear. Remember this. That fear is faith in the wickedness of the devil and doubt in the faithfulness of God and that equals disaster. You shall not be a victim of fear anymore in Jesus name. What's our assignment? Number one, refuse to be a victim of fear. Secondly, surrender all your concerns to God. And thirdly, build your faith in God with light. Praise God. Let's pray. Say after me, O Lord, I ask that you will deliver me from the tragedy of fear. Help me to deal with every fear of the unknown and fear of the future. I surrender all my concerns to you, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Before I close, I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to pray for you. You want to make Jesus the Lord of your life. You want to come out of the pangs of fear. Fear because you're running from the devil and you're running from things that do not exist because your life is not right with God. You need to make your ways right with Christ today. The rapture could take place any minute now and it's so important that you're ready. Simply pray this prayer after me and you will make your ways right with God. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I'm glad you prayed that prayer and I know that the Lord has heard and answered. You are blessed. You are preserved. Fear is arrested from your life. In Jesus' name, praise God. And secondly, I'd like to wish you a happy birthday. You're watching me now and it's your birthday or maybe somebody invited you to watch today because they knew I was going to wish you a happy birthday. I want to say congratulations. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. The 7th of October, 2020, I declare the blessing of God upon your life. I declare the hand of God upon your life. As your days, so shall your strength be increased on every side. May God give you a deeper and more meaningful spiritual walk with him. And may he cause his face to shine on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.
is a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place to receive God's own principles.